Good morning. I'm Parmen, Gairdner's High School Science Week correspondent for the week. It is 8.10 right now on Wednesday, October 26th, and I am super pumped to be going to my first Gairdner Science Week event in less than an hour. That's going to be the International Symposium. I'll be taking you along with me over the next two days, so let's get going. To you from Toronto again. This time it is quite rainy as you can see. I was just at the International Symposium um, and it was focusing on changing views of the hematopoietic stem cell and it celebrated the work of Dr. John Dick who is a 2022 Canada Gairdner International Award Laureate and his work, the seminal work that revolutionized the fields of cancer and stem cell biology three decades ago and there were so many amazing talks at the symposium and it was just an overall amazing experience so I can't wait to share a little bit about that with you I want to start by sharing just one of the many fascinating new things I learned from the International Symposium and this comes from the last talk of the event by Dr. Svi Lapido he discussed, or one of the topics he discussed, was how the way blood stem cells, those are cells that specialize into all of our blood cell types and their cousins, progenitors, how these cells' uh, behavior changes during the day, and it changes with the time of the day. So for example, during the daytime, these cells have higher specialization rates while during the nighttime, they are mostly focusing on replenishing or making new copies of themselves. Something I personally didn't expect was how many laughs and smiles there would be throughout. There were a lot of fun stories and pictures being shared um, of past collaborations, all of that, a lot of jokes as well. Good morning. It is 8.10 again, and I'm super excited for the second day of Gardner Science Week here in Toronto. Today is super jam-packed, and I can't wait to take you along with me. So let's go. So here we are at the Mars Discovery Tower in the auditorium, where first up we have the Gairdner Laureate Lectures. These laureates have worked on a myriad of topics from maternal mortality to leukemic stem cells to critical care medicine. So this is going to be super exciting and I'll tell you all about it very soon. Professor Anna Blackie and we're just going to be talking very quickly about science communication. So first up, could you tell me a little bit about the importance, why you think all scientists should kind of be engaging in science communication? Yeah, so something I've um, really come to observe throughout the pandemic is just that, you know, there's such a gap between what the public knows about and the progress in research that scientists are actually doing in the lab. And so I think we've seen this, you know, in a number of fields, you know, specifically in the field I work in, which is RNA vaccines. There's a lot of vaccine hesitancy because there were a lot of questions about what this new type of vaccine was. So I think it's really the duty of all scientists to be able to communicate our findings and get it out there for the public just so that people know what's going on. And, you know, this is important not just for vaccines, but other things like climate change and stem cells and really all aspects of science. Absolutely very true. And um, you have a very successful TikTok account. So what would you say is kind of the biggest 
um, science communication principle that you've learned? Yeah, so I think for me, it's it's really a challenge. You know, as scientists, we're used to having, you know, an hour or uh, 30 minutes to get our point across. And so something that I really had to work on and I think is really um, important, but a challenge is being able to boil down, like, what are the messages you're trying to get across, right? So on TikTok, you only have 15 or 60 seconds. And so you really have to think about what is a bite-sized piece of information that I want to tell people and how do I do that in a really engaging and effective way. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. That was super interesting. So I was just at um, Gardner's Laureate Lectures and then the Student Networking Lunch. We have the sign right over here. Um, it's been an amazing experience so far. I really enjoyed getting to talk to Dr. Guy Rouleau. Um, so yeah, I will update you soon about everything I learned. Bye. Hello, I am back at my hotel and I just wanted to quickly recap how the day so far has been. Starting with the Laureate Lectures, it was absolutely amazing. I wanted to share one super interesting fact I learned amongst all of the really interesting things I learned. And this was from Dr. John Dick's work and he received a Gardner Award because of his work on leukemic stem cells. And so something he was mentioning was how in a specific type of leukemia called acute myeloid leukemia, the cells that are actually responsible for uh, patients who might relapse in the future, those cells are actually present at the time of diagnosis. And by uh, doing certain treatments like chemotherapy, we're actually selecting for those more resilient cells. So what could this mean in the future? Um, well, that's something that is being researched right now. Just overall, the Laureate Lectures were super interesting. There was tons of information. I personally didn't expect it to be so multidisciplinary. Um, there were talks about so many different fields, like I mentioned at the beginning, maternal mortality, critical care medicine. There was talks about the intersections of biology and machine learning and artificial intelligence, so just a lot of fun learning. And after talking to some attendees, they were also talking about how they were excited about just the range of fields that were there. They were excited to learn about fields that are outside of their own expertise. And then next up with the networking lunch, um, I got to talk to Dr. Guy Rouleau alongside some other students who were at that table. And I found it to be just really nice and a really nice and casual format to get to talk to an expert while also just enjoying lunch and getting to learn about them, their work and their life. So overall, Super great experience. Well, it has been an absolutely amazing day so far, as I said, but now it's time to go see the laureates receive their awards. This time, black tie gala style. Well, it's now been a few days since I attended Gardner Science Week and the gala, and wow, what a whirlwind of fascinating experiences. First up, focusing specifically on the gala, it was a very new experience for me because I'd never attended an event like this. It was so great getting to see the laureates receive their awards. One of the highlights of the night for me was actually getting to see the laureates walk up to the stage because as they were doing that, one of their favorite songs or their favorite song was played and some laureates even danced on their way to the stage. And after talking to some attendees, they also agreed that this was just a really fun part of the night. And on top of that, the short speeches that the laureates gave after receiving their awards were really interesting and inspiring, especially Dr. Catalin Carrico's speech about failure and never giving up and again, these thoughts and sentiments were also echoed by some of the attendees I talked to. I had the opportunity to also just meet really interesting people like Dr. Bonnie Schmidt, the president of Let's Talk Science. I had great conversations about science 
and I even met a fellow Kingstonian. Overall, Gearden Earth Science Week was amazing. I learned so many new things, got to talk to incredible people, had great food, and overall really enjoyed myself. To be perfectly honest, it was intimidating at times to walk up to people who are much more accomplished than I am to have a conversation with them. But every time I did walk up to someone new, they were incredibly kind and we had a great conversation. So thank you to everyone who stopped to have a conversation with me and of course to everyone who helped make Gardner Science Week possible.